Okay, I'm going to go ahead and introduce week 16 to you, which is April the 20th through April the 26th. Direct objects, the personal awe, and stem changing present tense verbs. Just make sure. Um, you want to study pages 114 to 123 in your text. After completing this week's assignments, you should be able to identify and use direct objects and direct object pronouns, as well as be able to identify and know when to use the personal a. You should also be able to conjugate e to i, e, e to i, and o to u, e stem changing verbs in the present tense. Um, this week's assignments address student learning outcomes one and two. All of your assignments are due on the 23rd. You want to start this week, like all others, by looking at your instructor-made videos. If you click on the link there, it'll take you to a bunch of videos that cover the topics that I just mentioned, the direct object pronouns, the personal awe, and the present tense stem changers. After you've watched the videos, then come back out, click on the forum, click on the thread, hit reply, and post any questions or concerns you have about material covered in the videos. And if you have none, then you do need to post that you have none. Um, it is an assignment, so if you post nothing, you'll get a zero, and I never let anyone make those up because all I ask you guys to at least tell me is just you have no questions. Um, you also have a multiple choice quiz that kind of covers everything that we've done for this semester, so when you're ready, you'll open it up, hit attempt quiz now. There's only 20 questions, and they're all multiple choice, so it shouldn't take you that long to answer them. And they, so you'll have questions and then uh, a couple of selections below. And there's only 20 of those. When you're done, you'll hit finish attempt and it will come to me. And you only have one attempt in which to do that. Uh, you also have assignment 15 where you're going to visit my language labs and complete the SAM and extra practice activities. So when you're ready, you'll click on the thread. You'll go out into my language labs. Let me switch to student view. Um, it should look something like this. Uh, click on the under assignments, go to the course calendar, click on the 23rd. The assignments are going to pop up in the middle. Remember, you can do them as many times as you would like to get an um, all that will be recorded as the best score that you got before the assignments due date, before the 23rd. And I think on the third try, it'll give you the right answers. But if you're doing it that many times, you might want to reach back out to me and have me explain to you. Because um, if you're doing it more than three times, then you probably are making an error that you just can't figure out and you need some help. Um, you also have your final exam essay preparation. Um, that's still a week above. Um, up in the 13th, you'll be writing it. Um, and something new that I didn't have on the video for last week, but I've gone through and added it, is actually an example. Um, so this, when you see, when you see this, um, actually I've gotten in the wrong place, but anyway, when you see this final exam prep moved down here, you'll open it up and, um, and then you'll be going through and critiquing a classmate's writing. Um, you'll be giving feedback, letting them know whether um, it meets the criteria that are in that assignment or not. So remember in this one, um, you are talking to a Spanish-speaking student who's potentially thinking about coming to your university. So I've given you an example. Um, no, it actually is in the right place. Um, I've given you an example that tells you uh, kind of what it should look like. It does. You do need not, It should not look exactly like mine. I mean, you need to write your own uh, version. But I've given you an example so you have a sense of what you're supposed to do. Um, okay, and that's everything that you have to do for weeks.